What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Ori and the Will of the Wisps. In the last episode, we were separated from Ku, and she is in huge danger. When we last saw her, at least. Oh, man, we need to find her. Where is she? I can't believe we're separated again. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's, let's head over this way. Now, we don't really have the ability to run at the moment. We can still triple jump, though, so there is that at least. Oh, where is she? And, of course, we're going to get a little a little, little freezy right there just to, you know, highlight this game's fantastic technical state it's still in. Come on, Moon Studios. Throw me a bone here. I am saddened for your friend. The voice of the forest has done what it can, but its light is weak. Too many have suffered in these dark times, the smallest among us the most. With the willow's end, the light shattered. The spirits perished and our land fell to decay. Fragments of light were scattered, weakened, barely wisps. Left as they are, their light will fade forever. It is only a matter of time. But with the Moki's help, I have located the places where they fell. The 
anymore. The forest memory bound by frost in the north. Its eyes lost in darkness to the south. Its strength drowned in waters to the west. Its heart buried beneath shifting sands to the east. And its voice who journeys with you. Alone they are weak but brought together. If anything can undo the damage that has been done, it is the will of the wisps. No longer can I remain hidden in my hollow. I too will join the search. Farewell, little one. The Moki and I will help you where we can. We found this, Ori. It will help you go far. We will stay and watch over your friend. And so with that, we have finally gained back the final ability from Ori in the Blind Forest, and that is, of course, Kuro's Feather. The ability to glide on wind currents, as well as to cast gusts of wind in front of us. And so we're off! The game has officially opened up. This is the point in the game that I was referring to earlier. And, of course, all of our abilities will have been undone. Don't worry, that's not going to happen again throughout the rest of the game. I can promise you that. All right, so. Oh, Koo. We Moki are sad Shriek hurt the little owl. We are sad that Quolock is gone, too. We are not sad that you are trying to help, but we are worried. Oh, these poor babies. I love the Moki so much. So, luckily, Koo is... Not, obviously he's not dead, but Ku is severely wounded, and there's something that we need to get all of well, we need to get all the wisps if you want to rescue Ku. That is now our mission, but not only that, to also save the forest. That's pretty much what our goal is, and those goals are intertwined into one. So what are we going to be doing first and second and third? What's the order of things? What is the plan here? Because there's so much to do now. Let's take a look at our map real quick. So, obviously, you can't see everything on the map because a lot of it is still hidden. But if we zoom all the way out, which is as far as little go. So, right now, let's let's talk about the different areas that Quillock mentioned. So, first things first is up here. The highest reach. A wisp shivers atop a wintry peak in Bower's Reach. Free it so the land might remember the warmth of spring. Then, we have this one over here. A wisp lies trapped in the darkness of Moldwood Depths. Free it so the land might see clearly once more. Thirdly, was mentioned this one over here. A wisp sinks somewhere in the lush wilderness of the Luma Pools. Find it and return straight to the land. And then finally, all the way over here is none other than the heart of the forest. A wisp isn't lost beneath the swirling sandstorms of the windswept waste. Find it so that the heartbeat of life might return to the land. That is the order that we're going to be tackling these in. That is the order that is most likely intended by the story. Now, that is not to say that this is the order you need or should go in. In fact, as I said before, if you can help it, go in the order that the hand-to-hand -hand side quest that we've already talked about before compels you to go in, which kind of is in that order, actually, if I'm being honest. Um, but you want to get that side quest done as quickly as possible. That is your major objective, obviously, aside from doing the things that the game wants you to do, which is collecting all of the wisps. Now, that being said, there is one more place for us to go before we go to any of these locations, and that is down here in the Midnight Burrows. So we're going to be heading on over that way first things first and getting a lot more slowdown because apparently we are just getting a ton of that now, and I am really not a fan of it, if I'm being honest. Can this game stop? There we go. Let's go up. All right. So, there is so much to be done now. It is absolutely insane how much has opened up to us in this game. And now the, the whole world is just a lot bigger. And it's, in fact, it's so big that unfortunately this game has completely lost its ability to load. What is going on with you, game? Come on. I can't even get into certain areas without it, like, freezing. My gosh, this is like the worst I've seen it in a long time. I could have gotten smashed by that and been none the wiser until it happened and then just lost my first life. That would have been amazing. All right, so I just want to make sure that I'm actually going the right way before we head on over there. Now, if I'm being honest with you guys, the way that I first initially went through this game was actually 
What the frick? Come on. Wow, did you see that? Did anyone did everyone anyone else witness that? How absolutely bonkers this game is going right now? It is just unreal. Like it cannot even handle me and where I'm traversing to anymore. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so I'm not even going the right way. Am I going the right way? No, I'm going the right way. Okay, good. Um uh the way that I went first things first in this game was actually I went uh directly to the windswept waste, which is actually the last area that we're going to be going. And then after that, I went to the Luma Pools, then Mold of the Depths, and finished in Bower's Reach. Almost the exact opposite of the of the order that I intend to go in for this Let's Play. And these guys are just the worst in how they follow you. I cannot believe it. Golly, get out of here. Um, but yeah, almost in the exact opposite order that we're going to be going. Now, I will say... It is, or I would highly recommend it. I do think that it is very beneficial to go to the windswept wastes pretty early on. In fact, I am going to be breaking my order a little bit to take a trip over there at some point in between going to the other areas. That's not to say, however, though, that we're going to be grabbing the heart of the forest once we get there. There's just an ability that I want to get that's tied to that area that I, that is very integral to have early on. Personally, the actual order of usefulness of the new abilities that you're going to be getting in each area, because spoiler alert, yeah, you get new abilities in each area. Um, the order of usefulness is not the order that I told you. Um, am I going the right way? I just want to make sure I am. Okay, I am. Um, it's. It, I would, in fact, say in that regard, the order of usefulness is really windswept waste first. Luma Pools, well actually Luma Pools first, Windswept Waste second, Moldweb Depths third, and Bowers Reach last. That's what I, that's honestly the, I mean so honestly, almost the exact order I went in my initial Let's Play. And it'll all come clear when we actually get, when we get those abilities and you see their usefulness and what they're actually used for. Um, but they're all new, they're all completely unique to this game, so that is something to look forward to. I'm not going to spoil anything about them. And I gotta say, I love each of the locations in their own unique way, except for one, but we'll get into that when we get there. <laughs> I'll, it's, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, because it is going to be a lovely treat for you guys to witness. Oh my goodness, is it ever. And actually, I don't want to go that way. I want to go over here. I'm getting all sorts of scatterbrained, because I'm trying to think about the exact order I want to tackle things in while I'm traveling in a completely different direction. All right, so now we go. We just ride the feather. Why not, right? And we have it. We're going, yep, okay, we're going down. And now we can actually play the song, which I talked about only a few episodes ago. Oh, jeez. Oh, get out of the way. Okay, that oh, he almost killed me there. Okay, let's let you use your stupid attack. I was actually not ready for it because you didn't telegraph it very well. Okay, once we get through Moldwood Depths, though, we should have more than enough Spirit Light to grab all of the weapon upgrades that I would like to get because I definitely want to upgrade both Spirit Smash as well as... Um, oh, hold on. Launch your thing. There you go. Or don't. Hold on. Eh. Launch it again. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Um, I definitely want to get the upgrades for Spirit Smash and Spike first, and those are going to cost a pretty penny each, so it's going to... Yeah, it's going to take a while to actually get the amount, but I think Midnight Pearls should actually do it for me. Okay, so we're going to want to start with the tall one. So what was it? Tall, short, medium, medium, tall, short, tall. Okay. Tall. Short. Medium. Medium. Tall. Short. Tall. And there you go. That is how you get into... The Midnight Burrows. Now, what awaits you down this way, you might ask? Well, you will certainly see. This is a very unique area, and we're just going to float our way down. This is exactly why I wanted... Woo! This is exactly why I wanted Kuro's Feather. It's for this exact reason, because I don't want to just dive into abysses not knowing where I'm supposed to be going. And here we are, everybody. Okay, so we're going to be running into a lot of these spider friends here, which I just love. They're my favorite. And, of course, I am being completely sarcastic when I say that. Hey, you want to launch another one of those my way? So we're just going to take our time as we go through here. I am in absolutely no rush. If I could actually land my attacks, though, that would be great. There we go. And then can I, we give him a smack? Perfect. All right. So, like I said, this is an area that you can technically tackle very early on in the game. But we are going to be dealing a lot with this mechanic right here. So, you remember these? Remember these from Ori and the Blind Forest where you were dealing with... Uh, these little portal things that allowed you to get... I think it was the f one of the first areas in the game, actually. 
It was like the first spirit tree that you went through where you had these little teleportation things. And actually, I want to use that and then get my momentum to allow me to fly up here. There you go. You're going to actually, this is the essentially the puzzle of this area is using these portals, but not just utilizing them, utilizing the momentum that you will get from them to send yourself uh, to higher places that you cannot get to otherwise. That is essentially the entire point. Okay, so we need to get some sh fragments. Now, how am I going to actually go about getting those is the real question. Oh, wait, hold on. You can go away. Actually, can I just fall? Oh, oh man, I wasn't able to keep my mo momentum. Hold on, let's try that again. Okay, let's do that. Now, if we can launch our way up, let's do this. Well, you know what? No, actually, I think I can just go over here. What am I doing? Okay, hold on. Sorry, this, it's been a little while since I did this area, so I'm actually not the most versed in it, so it's gonna take me a minute to get used to it. Okay, actually, get rid of you, because I know you're gonna be a problem. Hold on, let's do that. And then give ourselves the moment here. Let's see, um, let's go right here. There we go, okay, that's where I wanna go first. So this is gonna send me over this way. Take that guy out. Perfect. Now, get rid of this one. I'm going to use this to go in here. And this is going to give us a lever to pull. Wait. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So I've got a time limit to actually get up to that, don't I? Yes, indeed I do. Okay, so now the question is, is how do I get up to it in time? Well, if I fall from here, what am I going to get? Okay, I got this thing here. Got it. So let's drop down again. Let's go, let's go right here. What do we have here? I see. And then through here, back that way. Okay, good to know. I can technically just go through that. And then I can also go down here. So I'm just, just getting my bearings on the place. Okay, there is one of these over this direction. And that is, aha! Got it. Okay, that is going to actually make getting through there a lot easier. It's going to allow me to preserve my momentum a little bit better. In fact, it's going to allow me to jump straight to that platform over there. But let's try to get this. Can I get this one first? Oh, actually, there's a breakable wall here. No, never mind. Hold on. No, I don't want to actually jump through it. Eh. I want to do that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's one good reason to have Kuro's Feather right there. Um, hold on. Let's see. We fly over here. There we go. Just like this. And this is going to put us up here. Which is going to allow us to pull this lever. And then jump down. Hold on. Actually. Oh, that's right. Okay, hold on a second. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting myself all sorts of confused here. Golly, this place is like, it's so tricky to traverse. It's such a cool mechanic, though. Like, I absolutely love it. So this is the one that spits us out right there, right? Yes, indeed. Okay, so let me get rid of, ow, this guy real quick. Okay, so down we go. Now let's pull that. And if we can hurry. Go, 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 go. Eh. Through. There we go. Awesome. Okay, made it. I got this. Ow! First of all, jerk. No, take that. Take another one. You suck. And okay, now we're going to heal real quick just because I need one of those. All right, he's going to send one of those at me. Shoot another one, please. Thank you. Now I can actually hit you with that. And there he goes. All right, now. Let's see. Oh, frick, that hurt. Okay, I got it. Okay, we need to keep our momentum here. So, hold on a second. Let's try that again. Oh, nope. A little too fast. A little too fast. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to keep my momentum with that. Nope, not quite. Maybe if I dash over? Okay, that... Oh, that was enough. All right, I wasn't expecting that to be quite enough, but it is. We're going to be able to bash our way through here, and wait a minute. We have ourselves a spirit tree here, but there's no light in it. What the heck? Where are we? Well, actually, if you take a look at our map really quick here, you can see that this actually lets out into Inkwater Marsh. Isn't that interesting? 
So we've already actually been this way, but now we're, we're able to bash our way through. It's a nice shortcut to get out of here should we so desire, because this area doesn't really have a whole lot of ways of, like, healing yourself or saving. So actually, let's see. I know there is a way. Let's do this. Launch ourselves up. Eh, perfect. Like so. Launch him in the air. That'll kill him. Okay, so for here, I'm going to use Curl's Feather to glide my way out between these things. Like so. Eh? Okay, there we go. We're doing good. And we got a Spider-Man. Let's get rid of him immediately and also hurt myself like a dummy. And boom. Perfect. Okay, awesome. There's some good health. Let's grab that. I think... Is that all of them? I think that's all of them, actually. So now... We just gotta head back over this direction. Am I going the right way? Okay, I think I am. Yes, I am. Okay, let's get rid of you. Now, if you want to launch me up, that would be fantastic. And then from here... Okay, we do have that. Oh, let me get rid of you. Eh. Oh, that's right. Okay, it's right there. I do want to get that shard, though. How am I gonna... How am I gonna go about doing that, actually? Just a second. There is a shard over there. Let me take a look. Is there a way to it? Well, I guess I can open this up real quick, so let's do that. Now, you're probably wondering, what the heck are we actually even getting in here? Well, you'll see in due time. Curious tablet, you found a new quest item. It's covered with strange markings. We need to take that to someone. In fact, we should try giving it back to Talk, who was waiting at the entrance. And let me do that. There we go. Now, if I can, I would like to be able to do something... I would like to be able to get to this shard, but... I think we're actually done with this episode. Hold on. I'm going to try to get this before I call this one really quickly here. I missed that. That was amazing. Let's try that again. Here we go. Beautiful. That's going to launch me up. And now this. Oh, I missed. Eh. No, 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 no. Up. There you go. Couldn't for some reason get bashed to register there. Eh. Okay, made it. Now, if I can, let me get up. Wait, I don't want to go that way. Can I go over here? Wait, no, I didn't want to go back in. Ah! No, I want to go right here. Okay, so how do I get up there is the question. Oh, duh. I can just do this. Okay. Oh! Oh! That was a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. And what did we get? Deflector. You gain a new spirit shard. Melee attacks deflect projectiles. Which sounds really cool in theory. Because obviously you're able to smack attacks back at people. And it can actually be semi-useful if I'm being completely... Why am I going that way? If I'm being completely honest. My only problem with it is, is it's, it is a little bit random. So if you want to incorporate it into your moveset, it can be a lot of fun. And I'm going to be honest here. It is extremely satisfying hitting enemies back with their own the projectiles by, like, deflecting them at them. Especially if you use Spirit Edge. I think it's the ability that really takes Spirit Edge over the top. But with Spirit Smash, it's a little difficult to maximize. Oh, come on. It's a little bit more difficult to maximize because obviously you have to time it just perfectly and actually smack their attacks back at them. Uh... At, at the exact right time. Okay, so we got this here. I think that's actually it for... Is that really it for Midnight Burrows? Well, we might as well talk to talk before we end this episode. But I really have done everything in here, haven't I? Yes, indeed. Okay, so that's going to be uh, honestly it. So if you could be a deer and let me get back up, that would be great. Now, all I need to do is let him you do that. There we go. One by one, we make our way upwards. And then, we go talk to talk. You're done now. Ah, you're back! And is that a tablet you have there? I see, it's a guide to reading the stones. Would have been nice to have this before, hmm? Wait, never mind, it's written backwards. Well, that's useless. Bah! What could possibly be the point of that? I would never know. And voila. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it on a cliffhanger. 
Thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Ur in the World of Wisps. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.